Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing another Croctober this year. This is absolutely mind blowing that it's already October and we are already just working toward the end of this year. I cannot even believe that we're here, but nonetheless, here we are and I am feeling all the fall vibes this year. I absolutely love October, I love fall, and this year I wanted to do something a little differently for October. Typically, I think most of us think about dinner menu when we think about using our crock pot, but I wanted to do a recipe that was a little more versatile and something that not a lot of people do. So I wanted to do a breakfast recipe in the crock pot this year. And the recipe that I chose is crock pot French toast. And it uses a lot of just staple basic ingredients that a lot of us already have on hand, which I think is really fun and convenient. And who doesn't love French toast, right? So this recipe should be pretty simple, like beginner, um, friendly if you're new to crock pot cooking. I absolutely adore my crock pot. It is a lifesaver for busy moms. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. And if you have a chance, please go into the description box below and show some love to the other YouTubers, YouTube moms and YouTube ladies and people uh, involved in this collaboration. There are so many and it is so much fun to check out other people's channels and see what they're cooking up in their crock pots. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you guys how to make crock pot French toast. All right, you guys. So for this recipe, we have some very basic ingredients. Like I was saying, um, we're going to be using some vanilla extract, some pure maple syrup, which I already have measured out here to a fourth of a cup. We're going to be using a cup of chopped pecans four tablespoons of salted butter. We're gonna be using a half a cup of light brown sugar or dark brown, whichever you prefer. We're gonna use two cups of milk. We're also going to be using some cinnamon and some nutmeg and some salt. And then there are lots of eggs in this recipe. We're gonna be using eight large eggs, which I have here on the in the bowl here. And then 24 ounces of any type of sandwich bread that you want to use. This sandwich bread is from Aldi. And it's um, similar to the, or to, um, I forget what it is, but the name brand artisan um, bread that you can get from the grocery store. But this is Aldi's take on it. So I'm not going to use both loaves, but like maybe one and a third. Um, but we'll see how it looks in the crock pot. And so I think that's all the ingredients. And let's... Go ahead and get busy making this recipe. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is grease our crock pot really well. I just have some basic canola spray. And I'm just gonna give this crock pot a really generous spraying down. We don't want any of that bread sticking, for sure. All right, so that's step number one. And step number two is we're going to cube our bread into small one inch cubes and layer it with the pecans in the slow cooker. So let's get started on that. together our eggs, our milk, our maple syrup, vanilla extract, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And the um, measurements for these is eight ounces or eight large eggs, two cups of whole milk, a fourth of a cup of maple syrup, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, 
a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So let's go ahead and mix that up. sugar and our butter and our cinnamon and I'm just gonna get that blended up really well we'll crumble that over the top and then we're gonna bake on high for about two and a half hours or so and then we will have our finished product It's always better to use your uh, bread after it's been in your pantry for a couple of days. You want it to be a little stale, not old, but you want it to be a little more on the dry side so that it really soaks up all of the eggs and the milk and everything because if your bread is too fresh, it could be a little soggy. And that's okay too, but we typically want our French toast to not be soggy. Um, and then the other thing is to make sure that you don't substitute uh, table syrup for the real maple syrup. You want the real 100% pure maple syrup because that will make a difference in the recipe. Um, I believe that is probably um, all the tips that I had. Of course, you could always play with this recipe and um, maybe add some dried fruit or other things. It's very versatile to kind of spice it up. Uh, maybe some walnuts instead of pecans and just play with it and come up with your very own version of this recipe. So don't be afraid to do that if your family is not um, a fan of one ingredient or another. Maybe try something else. Maybe some pumpkin um, pie spice would be good or even some pumpkin, like a little couple tablespoons of pumpkin pie filling or something in your um, milk mixture. Might make this a fun recipe to try for the fall. So. All right, we're gonna let this cook on high for two to two and a half hours, and you can always check it with the thermometer to make sure that it's at the right temperature since we are using eggs, but I will just eyeball it because you can usually tell when a dish like this is done. So I will be back after this is all finished, and I guess my family is gonna be having French toast for dinner tonight because it's getting late in the afternoon, so I'm sure they won't be complaining today. 